Where's the doubt? That's serious, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Let me have it. <laughs> All right. Pop, I'm not a little girl anymore. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I mean, I don't want to be treated as one. I'm an adult. And I want to be treated as one. Oh, you sure you have been a little too overbearing, a little too overprotecting, huh? Mm -hmm. But I understand. But I have to be able to make my own decisions. Well, sure. Up to a point, that's very reasonable, isn't it? Pops, please listen to me. I... I decided that I'm in love with Scott. Honey, I know Will that. Will you listen to me, Pops? I decided... But I want to be with Scott. Oh, Cheryl, hey, sweetheart, we've already talked about this. No, Pop. You've talked. I've listened. Now it's my turn. Go ahead. Okay. Now, um... MJ and Kathleen both made love to men before they were married, and it worked out okay. Look, I know this is really hard for you, Pops, because I'm the youngest, and I've always been your little girl. But I'm not a little girl anymore, Pops. I'm an adult. I can't... I can't tell you what to do. All I can do is, you know, give you advice. You know? Look, you gave me advice, and, and I listened to it. And, and, I, and I thought a lot about it. But it, it's not right for me, Pops. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's, it's, it's just not right for me. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. You sure that Scott's the right guy? And that he really loves you? Uh -huh. And he'll uh, take care of you, and he'll be concerned with your safety? Of course, Pop. No. I trusted him when you didn't, and he saved your life. I know he'd do the same for me. I just... I just don't want you to get hurt. Scott and I are going away. Some place where the Sim Stalker will never find us. What happens when you come back? I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with it then, Pops. Look, I'm not asking for your permission. I I just wanted you to know how I felt. Well, sounds like you've already you know, made up your mind. You know, Pops, it's not going to be so bad. You may have to say goodbye to your little girl. You get to say hello to a brand new young woman. Thanks, Pop. Pop. I love you. And I always will. This is really right for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm all packed. Me too. Well, we're really going. Yeah. I hope I packed all the right stuff. Dennis Porst, kind of quiet this time of the year, and uh, it's just going to be the two of us, and you don't really have to dress up for me. But it is right on the beach, right? So I packed a whole bunch of sweaters. Check this out. Private beach, secluded, no phones, nobody is going to bother oh, us, Scott, okay? Oh, Scott, I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait for what? We're going to Cape Cod for spring break, Mom. We're leaving today. Oh, yeah, Vince told me. What did he say? Oh, I'd rather not repeat it. Is he still upset? No, he's not upset. He's not happy. But I think he figures he just has to accept it. And what about you? Do I accept it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to be a good parent, so I have the feeling that I should give you a lecture on not rushing into anything. But we already got one of those from Pop. Yeah, I know. So you're not going to hear that from me. I could tell you to give it some time, but you've already done that. I could tell you to try putting some distance between you, but you've already done that. 
And you obviously love each other, so what do I have left? Blessing. Just not so fast. I'm still looking for a subject for a lecture here. And I don't have one. Yes, I do. Mm. Yes, I do. There is one thing that I can say. I want you guys to be very, very sure about what you're doing. We are, Mom. Don't worry. I want you to be happy, but I don't want you to get into anything where it's going to give you doubts or regrets. I think I left my plane ticket upstairs. No, no, Scott, it's in your bag. No, I think it's in the dresser. I'll, I'll uh, be right back, okay? You love him a lot, don't you? Yeah. Are you scared? Scared of Scott? Nah. No, I didn't think of Scott. <laughs> scared. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just... I think it's called Scared of Growing Up. Well, maybe I am a little afraid. It was funny when I was packing this morning and I left my room. I felt like I was never coming back. Like, like I was leaving a part of me behind. There's always a door that's closing. Another door that's opening. But how do you know you're going in the right door? Sometimes you do it. Just you know that wherever you are, your family is with you. It means a lot to me, Mom. Do you think things are going to work out between Scott and me? There is no such thing as a perfect relationship. Making a commitment to a man is a very big step. Commitment means you don't back out easily. You don't give up easily. It can also be a partnership, and it can bring a wholeness and a depth to the entire rest of your life. It can be the greatest happiness you will ever know. Oh, but you're so young. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. I'm not going to. I just... I love you and I love Scott. You're a great couple. Are you thinking about marriage? Why don't we just concentrate on MJ's wedding for now, okay? Scott and I haven't even talked about marriage. I suppose the important thing to you guys is that you're back together. We just have to make sure that this is what we want forever. Well, that sounded very grown up. Greg, she sounded really upset. Poor Nancy. Greg and Tony keep calling her in two different directions. I know the feeling. Oh, I better go tell Scott to hurry. Our plane is at night. 